Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a vintage filter like this in the Spark AR Studio which has a grain and a dust overlay. I have created a Spark AR block which makes it very simple to create a filter like this and yeah, you can download this Spark AR block for free and also the LUT we will use for this filter. So just go to the description and download all the assets you need for this filter and then we can start. So let's go! Hey again, so let's create this vintage filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter. So just go to the description and follow the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox site and here just click on download. After you have downloaded the zip folder, just unzip it and you will find the LUT and also the grain and dust and block in there. So now back to this Bug AR Studio. The first thing we have to do here is to yeah, import the LUT we have just downloaded. This is just a, a LUT for this yeah, video for yeah, to show you as an example, but of course you can use any other LUT you want. So yeah, for this we go to our assets bundle, click on the little plus, go um, up to import and here we select color LUT. Now, just go to your yeah, LUT we have just downloaded and then click on open. So, it is, it is re really important that you import the LUT this way so we can yeah, use it here in this tutorial. Because now when we drag and drop the LUT in our assets panel to our patch editor, Spark AR will automatically um, yeah, create this color LUT shader patch for us, which is really important. So, the next step is to extract the camera texture from our camera element of, uh, from the scene. So go to your scene panel, click on camera, go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. After we have done this, we will find our camera texture um, yeah, in the assets panel as well. So now just drag and drop the camera texture into the patch editor and you will find this orange um, yeah, camera patch in there. Now just connect the RGBA output with the texture input of the color LUT shader. Next step is that we create a new uh, material. For this go to your assets panel, click on the little plus and then select material. I will call this material LUT. Now select the material in the assets panel, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now go down to diffuse and click on the little arrow next to texture. Now you will find a yellow um, patch in your patch editor and now just connect the output of the color LUT shader patch with the LUT patch. So now next step is that we apply our LUT material to a rectangle in our scene. So we have to create a rectangle. So for this go to your scene panel here in the Spark AR Studio, click on the little plus and search for rectangle. Now Spark AR is automatically creating this canvas object with a rectangle inside and you will um, see the rectangle already here in our yeah, preview. So now just click on the rectangle, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Now go down to materials, click on the little plus and yeah, select the LUT material as the material for this yeah, rectangle. So now we have applied the LUT and now we will um, yeah, add grain and dust to this yeah, filter. This is really simple because I have created a grain and dust block for you, which you can use for this, yeah, for this type of filter. So go to your downloads folder and then you will find also a vintage filter and folder in the yeah, downloaded assets. So just click on it and then here grain and dust and here you will find the grain and dust.ar block. Now you have just to drag and drop this file into your assets panel of your project. So after you have done this, you will find this grain and dust block under the blocks section in your assets panel. And now just drag and drop this block into your scene and yeah after you have done this you will see um, the grain and the dust is applied to your yeah to your filter and now you have successfully created a vintage filter but you can also tweak 
um, the grain and dust block. For this, just click on the grain and dust block, go to the right hand side, and here you have some inputs where you can um, yeah, adjust the overlay so you can um, yeah, change the grain intensity. So when you um, yeah, go up with the slider, you see the grain will get yeah, more and more intensive. But yeah, I will leave it to let's say 0.2. And then you can also um, toggle the dust, so you can yeah, disable the dust or you can turn on black dust if you like this more or you can yeah, leave it with the white dust. So I, I hope I could help you with this tutorial and also with the uh, yeah, grain and dust block I have created to use it in your um, filter. This is a very simple way to add grain and dust to your filter and you can... yeah give your filter a little bit of a vintage vibe. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to, subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.